Hey guys, Brian here from Salt Woodworks. Right now I'm traveling in Australia. Out at Snapper Rocks right now, about to go watch the Quicksilver Pro in a little bit here. And I just wanted to give you guys a couple uh, little uh, ideas that I had. It's been pretty cool living out of the van for the last month. It's the first time I've kind of really done this before. And being a van builder, it has taught me a lot about setups, layouts, all kinds of little things about how I should start building vans diff a little differently or just a little more in thought and how to make them as functional as you can. So here are a couple of quick little things that I have done in my van to make it work a lot more functional and a lot easier. Number one, hooks. I have these little hooks all over the place and they are so handy for hanging, as you can see, all kinds of good stuff off of. Over here I have them hanging my jacket to dry off, towels, all kinds of good stuff like that. Number two is this actually. It's nice to have a fridge when you live in a van, but I bought one of these Brita filters and to be able to go fill up, you know, my big blue jug here out of a tap, put the water in the Brita filter and I have you know, what I feel like is pretty good purified drinking water where sometimes out of taps, it just seems a little sketchy. <clears throat> water here in Australia is really good, but I just like to have a little extra safety um, net there. So this is my other idea, which I've always wanted to build. And this is a very simple, simple idea you can make for literally three or four bucks. I bought this from, a, you know, kind of a cheap store here. And I, as you can see, put a couple of hooks on it and then I drilled some holes in it. So after I wash my dishes, for instance, maybe I'm going to wash this pan. For instance, maybe I'm going to wash this pan here. I set it in there and now it just drains in the sink and I can still use the sink. I don't have to dry it right away and I do not have to leave it in the sink to get wet with all the water sloshing around in there since you're obviously not always on a perfect angle. Pretty good idea, I thought. And when this is not on here, there's this little string here and I'll show you what that's for. Another pretty rad uh, thing that worked out so perfectly and I didn't even think about it once I started using it, but I installed an outdoor shower out here, which was easy to plumb in because of all the plumbing down there already for the sink. I just made a T and brought it off of here. But this outdoor shower, not all obviously works as an outdoor shower, but now it works as a little bit stronger, pressurized, little uh, stream of water to uh, wash off my dishes with, other than just having this. So something I didn't even try to do, but worked out pretty well. One other pretty cool idea is, um, this is the control panel that was already in the van when I bought it. This is my solar controller, it has USBs in it. One thing I bought was this right here and mounted it. So look at, I have my phone, my little fan, all kinds of sweet little things in here charging, which is perfect and out of the way so that people don't really see it when they're walking by, it's not on the dash or anything. Today's laundry day, as you can see. But a um, couple of good little ideas that could come useful in your van, it has really helped me. So I hope uh, from now on when I start building vans, I can take some of these things I'm learning while living in a van and uh, put it into some of your guys' dream builds. Thanks for watching and uh, keep following my adventure here in Australia.